Here is your interview prep checklist. So make sure you watch this video every time you have an interview coming up so you can make sure that you are prepared and give yourself the best chance to pass and make it to the next round. You can use this checklist for in-person as well as video or virtual interviews. And I'm gonna have this video broken up into chapters so you can go ahead and fast forward to the parts that are most relevant for you. Okay, so first let's talk about all the things that you need to do before the interview even starts. First, leverage your recruiter to give you as much information as possible. Possible. Ask them what topics are going to be covered in each of your different interviews and who you're going to be meeting with so you can look them up on LinkedIn. Also, some recruiters have an interview prep doc and some of them will even offer you a practice or mock interview, so take full advantage of that. If you know the names of your interviewers, make sure you look them up on LinkedIn or Google Scholar so you figure out what they're working on and what their areas of expertise are so you can predict what types of questions are going to be covered in each of the different interviews. For your video or phone interviews, make sure you go ahead and block off 30 minutes on your calendar before the scheduled interview time. That way you aren't rushing for meetings and you won't be under pressure. If you have an in-person interview, make sure you block off at least one hour for your commute. That way you can account for any potential accidents or anything that may happen like car trouble. Next, make sure you're doing your research. Research the company, its products, its competitors, and any recent or relevant news about that company. This is gonna help inform your answer for why do you wanna work here, and you can also use this information to create questions that you'll be asking your interviewers at the end of your interviews. Also, as a part of your research, make sure you're memorizing the company's mission as well as any values or leadership principles that they have. This is gonna help inform any culture-based questions or any of your non-technical or teamwork-focused interview questions. Next, make sure you check Glassdoor, Fishbowl, and Blind for any potential interview questions that other people may have about your specific position. Next, start to create and draft up questions that you want to ask your interviewers based on all the research that you have done. You're going to want to stick to questions focused on the job and the immediate projects. Do not ask them any questions about promotions or about transferring internally because this is going to give them the wrong vibe. Next, make sure you're practicing telling and delivering all of your core stories and explaining any of the bullets on your resume using the STAR format. All of your STAR answers and stories should be somewhere between three and five minutes long. Next, make sure you watch this video on the most common interview questions that you'll get because these are questions you definitely need to make sure you have really good answers for because every single company for every single role is gonna ask at least one of these questions. Okay, you're also gonna wanna make sure that you have a notepad ready for your interview. If it's a video interview, you can actually reserve the top section of your notepad to write down some notes and key stories that you wanna remember. If you have an in-person interview, you don't want your interviewer to see any of the notes or your little cheat sheet. So you're gonna wanna just make sure you have a blank page to take notes and write with. I recommend physically taking notes on a pen and paper because it'll take you longer to write down notes, which means it gives you more time to think during the interview. It's like a clever stalling technique. Okay, so now this next section is gonna talk about all of the things you need to do on the day of your interview, starting with making sure that you have water with you. Whether it's a video interview or in-person interview, you're gonna wanna make Make sure you have a water bottle handy and filled up. It's also a really great way to stall and buy yourself time if you need to think before answering a really tough question. Right before your interview, make sure you set aside five minutes to go ahead and meditate and do some breathing exercises to make sure that you are calm and relaxed. You don't wanna go in there feeling stressed out and tense. Pretty obvious here, but make sure you silence your phone. And if your interview is in person, make sure you show up at least 10 minutes before it's supposed to start because this will show your interviewer and the company that you are excited about the position. Next, before you walk into the interviewing room or before you join the video call, make sure you put a smile on your face. Congratulations, you finished your interview. So now this next section is gonna talk about all the things that you need to do once the interview is over, starting with writing your interviewer a thank you email. Go ahead and watch this video right here where I've broken down and given you an entire script that you can leverage to send the perfect thank you email. And it can even help save your interview if you know that you messed up on a question. Next, make sure you immediately write down all of the interview questions that you were asked so that you can save them for your interview practice bank and make sure you write down the answers that you gave in your interview. Then you can look at it later on and determine if your answers were good or bad and constantly work to improve them. Okay, so that's your full and comprehensive interview prep checklist. Make sure you're watching this video every single time before your interview comes up so you can set yourself up for success. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe and if you have already, share this with a friend who would find it helpful. Thank you all for watching and don't be afraid to shake things up.